It happens to everyone. You're going along, painting your model, and then suddenly realize, this paint job sucks. Let's talk about how to salvage your model, strip it, or whatever else we need to do to get to a model you're happy with. This is not the video I had planned on making this week, but after repainting this model three times, it's sort of the video I ended up with. But let's start at the beginning. The most important thing when realizing you're unhappy with your paint job is early detection. All of this started when I asked my patrons what model and color scheme they would like to see me paint for my next project. And instead of choosing magenta and green, which is my signature colors, they instead chose magenta and teal. Which I did not realize was going to be a big deal, but here we are. But let's start at the beginning. I pulled out my magenta and teal and started to wing it. Hi. But as soon as I started laying down colors on the dress, it just didn't feel right. I tossed it up to working outside my normal color palette, to not doing a digital mock-up and being prepared as I normally am. But really, it was my gut telling me that I was not going to be happy with this model. As soon as you recognize this voice in your head, stop and listen to it. Instead, I continue to highlight and shadow. Instead, I continued to highlight and shadow and glaze until I finally realized that I was not happy with this model. I just wasn't having fun painting her, and it was starting to feel more like a chore and less like a hobby, which is a sure sign that I need to rework this project. More than likely, you have your own tell that can help you in your early detection. So to now, I have my model, I'm unhappy with her, now what? If you haven't already, stop and pinpoint the areas of the model you don't like and consider why you don't like them. Is it the application of paint? Is it the colors? Or maybe something else? On this model, I'm realizing that there is too much magenta and red when it should really be my accent color, not a primary color. Once you decide why you're unhappy with your model, decide what the next step is to fix it. Since my application of paint is so smooth on this model, I can just go ahead and paint over the areas I don't like. If adding more paint isn't going to work for you, then the next thing is to strip your model. But wait, don't panic. If your model is beyond saving in its current state, then I recommend stripping and starting over. Personally, I use Simple Green as I frequently work with limited edition or delicate models. I put my model in pure Simple Green, let it sit overnight, and then start scrubbing it with a toothbrush. And then rinse it off under hot water, again using my toothbrush. We don't want any Simple Green or paint to remain and pour the simple green back into the container when I'm done. But what if it's only part of the model that you don't like and the rest of it you're still happy with? Then it is possible to only strip part of the model, but you have to be very careful. Pour simple green into a small container and take your trimmed undo brush, which I talk about in this video here, and dip into simple green. Then scrub away the particular area of your model. Be careful not to load too much simple green onto your brush. We don't want the simple green dripping off of your brush or off your model down onto areas that we don't want to strip. If that does happen, that paint could also become loose, meaning you will probably just have to strip and start again anyway. Let's talk about something I'm very excited for. The soon-to-go-live campaign of D&D is a woman by The Printing Goes Ever On. Last year, I made a video about my desire to see more badass, well-clad women models, and The Printing Goes Ever On shares that desire too. With my help, we created over 50 unique and detailed miniatures for your Dungeons & Dragons table, and all come pre-supported and ready to print. The release also includes character blurbs to help you play or paint each model, and an adventure to play through with your friends. If you like any of the models you've seen here in this video, check out D&D as a Woman following the link in my description box. Alright, back to the video. But before we start painting again, let's stop and look at how we got to the point where we needed to paint over or strip in the first place. If you stripped because of paint application, consider how you are going to prevent such an issue in the future. If you are starting over because of color, think about what new color scheme you are going to use to help you paint a model you are happy with. For this model, I am doing a digital mock-up to help me plan out my colors. 
I'm looking online for inspiration, looking at other miniatures, as well as character art for this type of character, and drawing up a few options for me to choose from. My goal is to salvage as much as the model as I can, and to only paint areas that will have the biggest impact. So let's give this model another go with the inspiration from my digital mockup. And here's the thing, you might have to do this more than once, and that's okay. I am a perfectionist and I will continue working until I am happy with this model. But even after this new round of painting, I'm still less than... thrilled. At some point you might just have to decide that having a finished model is better than having a perfect model. Even after my digital mock-up and my third attempt at repainting her. Honestly, I'm over it. The truth is, this video needs to go live in five days, and I just want to be done. A complete model that isn't your best is better than an unfinished model, even if in its unfinished state it is still full of potential. Now that I'm done, I'm taking a step back from this model and considering how I got to the point that I needed to repaint her so many times. The first thing is, is that I'm a planner and I just tried to wing it. The second thing is, is that I just apparently don't like painting teal and magenta. This is the second model that I've painted in this color scheme, and I don't like that one either. Which unfortunately all comes back to the fact that all of this probably could have been avoided if I had done a digital mock-up in the first place. Take some time and consider why your model didn't work for you. Maybe you tried a new technique, new colors like I did, or maybe you just improved between the start and end of your model. No matter what, you can learn from this model and apply this knowledge to your next one. All right, that's it from me. Like, comment, subscribe, go join me over on Patreon. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.